I always tell people that no, you want to quit your jobs and stuff. Like, please, mm. please, like remember, um, especially at this age, right, yeah. which is damn scary. Yeah. Mm. Um, like you must really think of worst case scenario. Can you? Mm be okay now with mm. the worst case scenario. If you cannot, please then don't... Think twice. Yeah. yeah, don't... Like, it's okay to not be a founder. It's totally okay. Yeah, yeah. Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome, Welcome to, to the WOW, wow podcast. podcast. And we yeah. are... Unconventional. Unconventional. My name is Raymond. And I'm Edmund. And we are the host for today. Yep. If it's the first time you're tuning in, right, this podcast we cover everything and anything that revolves around the conversations between leaders mm-hmm. and the new age workforce. Yep. Topics like disengagement, work culture, leadership, we cover them today. Yep. Right here. So today we have Sharon as our speaker. Yay! Yay. All right. So Sharon, actually, uh, just a quick intro in case yeah. you do not know her. She's the CEO and founder of headquarters mm-hmm. actually it's a web-based uh, web tree company yeah in this case so, so she's actually an angel investor and also a crypto and blockchain enthusiast mm-hmm. my favorite nickname for her is she's the nft queen <laughs> <laughs> yeah so okay without further ado let, yeah. let sharon have a quick uh, intro of herself and probably mm-hmm. a bit about hq and all that yeah. okay yeah. all right thanks yeah uh, glad to be here yeah. so yeah uh, my name is sharon recently started a company called headquarters mm-hmm. yeah so headquarters um it's a back office tool handling mostly finances for companies in the crypto space mm-hmm. yeah ah. so that's what we do nice, all right nice yeah. nice some backstory, please. Oh, okay. like, like <laughs> how how you landed yourself <laughs> yeah. here, mm. the founder, etc., and all that. Nice. Yeah, I would say that the idea for headquarters started maybe exactly a year ago. Yeah, mm. around November, December last mm. year. Mm. Um, but we only really started maybe meeting my yeah. co-founder and I. Yeah, okay. we only started it formally around, I think May. That's where we got serious about it. Yeah, oh, wow. so it took so us a very very new new startup. Yeah, it's very new. It's about okay. six. A few shorter than that, in fact, yeah. Okay. So a bit of background myself was mm. that um I was previously spent I had about three years at Fast Group, mm. yeah. So they mm. recently rebranded, previously known as X First and Streets X. Okay. So now it's that was right before you started HQ. Right? That was right before. Yeah. In fact, there was a slight overlap. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, correct. So um I was really full time uh, focused on HQ actually even mm. more recently, just July this year. Oh. Yeah. So that's okay. how recent and how recent that I left Fast Group. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so at Fast Group also, major some background, what I did yeah. there and what it led to this was mm. um, because we dealt with payments in mm. Southeast Asia. Yep. So um, from the most extreme of, you know, the mama shops in Indonesia, so mm. pay- online payments for them. Yep. Uh, but also online payments for, I think most of the Singaporeans here mm. might know us for all the like crypt- Singapore crypto exchanges. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah, so that definitely um, gave me mm. a glimpse la, of what mm. happens actually in the finance ops behind the scenes uh, Yeah, for all these companies. Okay. And mm. um, my personal opinion is that mm. it was quite messy. Mm, yeah, okay. and yet you know in the crypto industry everyone um, during, during the bull period of yeah, course yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everyone moves very fast you know everyone mm-hmm. is like having mad levels of creativity mm. to create a lot of crazy stuff yeah, new but products correct, new yeah. coming out so yeah. and then actually that's what excites me about the industry still okay. uh, but I was quite shocked at during the whole three years of my time at FAST mm. I always still saw how um, manual things were done behind the scenes uh, yeah okay. so I was a bit shocked la, and I mm. think being Spending about three years observing that mm. is just way too long to not want to do something. Really. Okay, yep, <laughs> yeah, yep, yep, correct. Yep. Okay, maybe to mm. help our, our, our audience yes. understand a little bit mm. more, right? Because we use terms loosely. <laughs> yeah. Web3, blockchain, blockchain, crypto. No. So, can, can you help our audience understand a little bit more about this? And also, what is the role that HQ actually plays in mm. this space? space yeah. Yeah. Okay, Um. maybe I'll just start off with like, okay, what's Web3 or Web2, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so Web2 was really about, people like to say it's um, can be technical but it's, you can read the information mm-hmm. and you can write meaning you can read things online and you can actively contribute online which okay. is kind of what your Facebook Twitter um, mm-hmm. are because yep. right? yeah. you can openly write and Wikipedia you can contribute yeah. um, but do you really own the content uh, probably not mm-hmm. Yeah, so you probably really yeah. don't la. so okay. Web3 is really um, read so you can read the information, you mm. can contribute, which is right. Mm-hmm. And finally, you can be quite confident that you also own um, the asset, mm. the, the object. La, that mm. Whatever it is, it could be your information just put on the net, but you can be quite confident that you own it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I think that's the high level difference. So it's like uh, centralization <clears throat> versus decentralization. Yeah, yeah, correct. So I think naturally... 
when people think about ownership, you know, mm. what do maybe humans care about? Mm. Maybe it's money a bit. Yeah. <laughs> so mm. I think that's where the initial mm. uh, adoption uh, of this mm. concept went towards that. Or that took off the most, I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Props to that. That's like one of the yeah. most straightforward introduction of Web 2 and Web 3. Okay, okay. But okay. before yeah. we go on, <laughs> yeah. I, I need to explain this to yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If not, we'll keep pressing it. <laughs> <laughs> so you okay. see that this is, uh, this is called an aha boy. Mm. Only face. This is whereby when you have aha moments or something yeah. really positive, Spark okay. just position, you can press this. Okay. Yeah, whereas this one is a boo boo boy. <laughs> so yeah. basically, we are very friendly. Uh, yeah, family, family friendly, friendly show. show. Oh, yeah. okay. But okay. we know a lot of founders when we invite onto the show. Sometimes <laughs> you get very agitated, <laughs> so you have to yeah, go, yeah. what the? Oh. Ah, okay, so. okay. How can you all censor us in time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, that's, yeah. that's why you put it in front, front of you. You self censor you you yourself. yourself. What yeah. the? Oh, ah, you do it yourself, okay. you do it yourself. Yeah. But okay, of course, okay. either way, we edit it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, so just in case you, you don't know what's happening uh, in this yep, case. Yep. Okay, got yeah. it. So, so I, I, I love that basic introduction about Web 2 and yep. Web 3. Mm. Um, but maybe help us understand a little bit more about what Headquarters or HQ oh, okay. does yeah. in this space. Yeah, so Headquarters... Um, the messy part about the back office of crypto companies, right? Mm-hmm. What I observed during my time and um, I was doing payments in, in FAST was mm-hmm. that a lot of these crypto companies, whether you're small or big, um, because I think it's habitual that we in people in crypto, they keep their money mm-hmm. in many different types of accounts or wallets. Mm-hmm. Whereas in normal companies, you know, we actually just keep it in maybe one to a few bank accounts. Mm. Ah, okay. okay. Mm. Whereas in crypto, we actually keep it in, if you're lucky, Meta, bank account. Okay. Yeah. Uh, or sometimes fintechs like mm. Fast Group itself, those mm. licensed ones, you know, mm. then they keep funds there. Mm. Um, and also they keep money in wallets back to mm. the ownership, right? Um, mm. where they really own only them and them alone own the excess, like the logins and IE keys, like mm. in crypto, what they call it. Yeah. Um, to that wallet. Mm. Yeah, okay, I'll, go, I'll sound a bit technical now, but actually every fintech and every bank, the technology stack is the same. Okay. Yeah, it's decades old. It's, every fintech is built on top of banking ecosystem. Mm. Yeah, so the mm. tech is the same. Okay. But in crypto, and the reason why I got so excited yeah. also over the years is actually things like Ethereum and for the first time, it's really totally separate from mm. the banking system. Mm. Yeah, and what, what this system is, right, is the... um the database mm. to prove that the transactions happen. Uh, like, mm. So, you know, whenever you make a pay now transaction, you have to yeah. take screenshots and send to your friends, right? Yep. But the master database of that, it's, whether it's fintechs yeah. or banks, the same. Mm. But then for crypto wallets, it's mm. really different. Mm. Yeah, so when folks like us, you know, in the crypto industry, we have yeah. money in two different types of like bank accounts that don't uh-huh. speak the same IT mm. lingo. Yeah. Um, what happens is that the the usually the finance manager or whoever's in charge of finance, mm-hmm. right? They literally have to log into like hey, my bank account, my fintech, and then this new uh mm. crypto wallet mm. and like, export transactions and yep. then manually oh. put in together. Then you know reconcile. Kind of defeat the whole purpose of having. Correct. So it's it's <laughs> yeah. so while well, crypto has a what what they call like open transparent mm. you know um transaction records everyone yeah. can see right. Yep. But when you run a business by right lah, if mm. you're a good business or so. Um, whether for internal reporting, for investor reporting mm. or customer reporting, mm. you always need your maybe end of month, end of year statements. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. And it's just very troublesome where your transactions okay. are in so many different types of wallets, right? And mm. you just have to manually repeat mm. the consolidation mm. of it. Yeah. Mm. So that's why that's where I found that wow, it's quite crazy la, that smart people, you know, in crypto are doing things so manually. Mm. Uh, because okay. the tech just don't talk to each other. Uh, what are the challenges now that you you have been through your own startup now the second one mm. in yeah. this case like uh, <clears throat> any 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 challenges or critical things that you went through as a founder mm. that you'd like to share that you want to talk mm. about especially from the point of view of a new very 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 yeah, new startup very right new, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think the biggest challenge is how do you manage like your own insecurities lah Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. wow! Jumping like straight into it. Wow! Jumping straight <laughs> away. Go deep. I like. I like. Maybe five or ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's get real. Let's, let's yeah. Because you asked me very specific questions. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. So it's ins- as real as this, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's insecurities because, um, like you said, it's very early stage. Yeah. So, um, is my, as much as I'm very interested about this space, yeah. right? Yeah. Um. Is there money to be made? I mean, I'm ah, also okay. running a Very business, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm running running business. So, mm. um, 
I am definitely the sort of founder mm. that is both very product driven and mm. yet very commercial minded. Yep. Mm. And um, usually, like, when you just keep building products, mm-hmm. um, it's very fun. Yeah. Uh, accountability is definitely not as high in the mm. as the commercial side. Yeah. 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 Mm. So it, it conflicts la. So yeah. when I certain when I see certain things that oh, okay like mm. um you feel great like you go for a lot of user calls mm. and stuff you know they all seem to say they want this mm. um but you know that um right now mm. our product stack in my opinion is yeah. not meaningful enough that even I want to pay like mm. a substantial mm. amount of money every month and mm. then that lies the insecurity la, because I it's I myself will not pay myself yeah. Yeah. so it's a bit like Whoa. so that's the commercial side of you yeah you, correct thinking, right? yeah okay. and um, naturally there's also if, if the idea is really that valid chances are you're not alone you're um, internationally yeah. mm. so definitely um I the more you read about it, the more you learn about the industry, and then that's mm. where you dig up like you know overseas competitors, right? And you realize you are not that unique anymore. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I think that sometimes kicks in la, like moments of insecurity as well. So mm. as a founder, um, you kind of you can't really. Sh- you, it's good to show vulnerability to your team. Yes, you know, mm. for them yeah. to trust you and stuff. But you cannot show that level of yeah. Like, it's insecurity. like <laughs> we're gonna go bust or, <laughs> yeah, right. or like you don't know what you're doing. doing yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, then you okay. just have to keep it in. Or thankfully, mm. I have a co-founder, so mm. I can tell him very openly as well. Okay. Yeah. Then we handle it from there. Okay. Yeah. But, but in fact, on the contrary, like, wouldn't it be assuring <clears> that <throat> when you know that there are actually people doing the same stuff, yeah. that means that it could be a market fit in the first place? Yeah. yeah. So okay. that that's also what I tell myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Correct. But I guess in the space that we are in right now, in the situation that we are in, right, we'll yeah. probably talk about this a little bit more mm. later on. Mm. But uh, there's always this talk about not just about product market fit. It's yeah. about Profitability, yes. sustainability. Yeah, right. yes. yeah. yeah. so so Correct. I guess in in the bull run doesn't matter lah. Like, everyone do everything lah. <laughs> la. But yeah. I, I guess when you're you you're starting it now, mm. yeah, yeah, in the middle of challenge challenges, yeah, yeah. quiet winter, time. Yeah, in the night, like, <laughs> how 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 do you how do you does does it affect how you think or how you plan yeah. ahead mm. for, for um, your company? Thankfully, I was a bit paranoid when I wanted to start the business. So paranoid mm. uh, paranoia around um cash flow. Okay. Uh, yeah, ah. cash flow. Yeah. So um So you're a prudent prudent founder. <laughs> I would say not just prudent, but I became mm. more on the aggressive side. Meaning oh. I wanted more money in the bank right from day one. Ah, yeah. Okay. So um because I also didn't really want myself even to be in a situation as much as possible mm-hmm. to like, okay, we have two months in the bank ah. and then I'm forced to make very um bad Sub-op- yeah, sub optimal decisions. Okay. Like yeah. I really did not want like okay. that those kind of situations I would mm. try to prevent now, mm. today, as much as possible. Yeah. So you build a, a longer runway right from Correct. day one. Yeah. yeah. So when I raised um, you know, within the crypto scene, mm. people did think that we were not very wise back then, uh, to mm. give up that willingness of that level of dilution. Because mm. the more you raise yeah, the there's more only diluted, yeah, yeah, more diluted, right? Because mm. I was also early. Yeah. There's only so much you can inflate your yeah. valuation. Yeah. yeah. So I projected a three year runway. Mm. and I raised on a three year run that's rare actually yeah it's quite rare yeah Yeah. and by then the reason why that happened was because um, all this crypto specific you know bad actors Mm. saga hasn't happened Mm. Uh, the infamous (laughs) stable coin I won't yeah I won't say the brand but yeah yeah, crash by all means man (laughs) (laughs) yeah okay (laughs) you all (laughs) (laughs) okay Okay. Um, but yeah the, the, the Ukraine war happened so ah, actually okay. that yeah. was what uh shook me up a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I was that like That was okay. earlier earlier this year. Yeah, like March, April. Yeah. yeah, correct. So that was okay. what made me decided to be more conservative in my race. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But oh. I mean given how it played out, right? That's yeah. that turns out to be a brilliant, brilliant yeah, move. Yeah, right? yeah. So it was kind of those like, whoa, in hindsight, thankfully I did that. Yeah. Yeah. So that yeah. even in bare periods, um because the truth is in bare periods, mm. right, in uh product company like mine mm-hmm. not service based I think yeah. service so I used to run a service company right you can mm. earn some that cash that was a production yeah the product development, development house one, correct. Okay. get one yeah. client money in mm. then you slowly expand your team mm. then it's like okay. rinse and repeat right yeah. but product it's like oh, there's so many things you need to build before yeah. someone's willing to pay you even even the first dollar yeah, before correct. the first dollar even comes otherwise yeah. you are just paid to build custom mm. for them really but how does that affect you mentally like, um <laughs> It, it, it's, it's tough it's yeah. pretty funny because <laughs> yeah. like, I've been through the oh I win this you know five six mm. digit kind of yeah, contract then I built for, for you now it's yeah. like I'm building and I don't know whether you'll pay well, I, see. Fine. I see okay. yeah. I see but, okay. yeah, but back to the point um, mm. yeah I really wanted three year runway because mm. in bear markets sometimes 
what I told my co-founder then, he was yeah. very worried. Uh, mm. I was like, you need to be cautious because um, I'm worried about false, what they call false negative. Mm. Yeah, so meaning, um, you don't, if there are very few customers for maybe two years, but mm. actually you're on the right track. Uh, right, okay. but how many how many customers can you or potential customers mm. can you talk to? There are only so mm. few. How big is the space? Yeah, right? and what yeah. if you really die right before the next like crypto mm. summer comes? Mm. It's like oh, then it's them wasted. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah, them wasted. And you yeah. see somebody else succeed after yeah. that. Yeah, oh, correct. that was just crazy. Yeah, then it's yeah. like oh my god, like I just needed to survive for one more, more year. year. Okay, yeah, okay. Correct. So that was a constant nagging fear in you. Mm. Mm. I think because why that became very um. Like matter of fact, like like mm. just this is how markets mm. are like, right? It's because yeah. uh, I go back to my days in FAS. So I was there mm. for three years. When mm. I joined them, it was 2019. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And the reason why I joined was because they wanted to start a stable coin, la, a, a yeah. good... Um, mm. XSGD. Yeah, XSGD yeah. and stuff mm. for mm. Southeast Asia. Yep. And I love crypto, right? And mm. actually, coincidentally, I started to like payments in crypto, even oh, though okay. I was not professionally in that yet. Okay. Yeah, so when I learned about this, I was like, oh, this is great. Like, mm. I don't mind being an employee, but it's doing something from scratch almost. Yeah. And it took them actually about one half, two years to really then start to take off. Yeah, yeah the mm. first two years was really very quiet because the market okay. is quiet. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Thanks for the good work, man. Yeah. <laughs> Cash <laughs> D for the win. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, okay. So so of course we are talking about the the nice side of things having yeah. that three years of yeah, yeah. in the bank. Yeah. But <clears throat> what were the challenges having to raise this amount? Yeah. yeah. In the first um, place? I think crypto is a very international industry and mm-hmm. we want to be international. Uh, so what we did was we hit the um funds or investors outside of Singapore first. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we spent about one and a half months. Mm. Um, so to give you some idea, we are, yeah. I, turns out um, in hindsight, like my mm. co-founder actually saw our list yeah. of contact list, right? Mm. We actually spoke to 80 plus investors, oh, wow. which was really tiring. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did not and realize that. We were at the and, angel and, level. And most of them were yeah. Yeah. There were some angels, there yeah, were some the funds. funds. Yeah. Okay. Quite significant of them were angels. La. Okay. Um, and then, because I wanted operators in the space also. Ah, yeah, so significant okay. chunk, more than 50% were angels, then ah. the other one was funds. Okay. Um, and yes, a good uh, half of them were overseas. So we hit mm. the number, those numbers first. Okay. Um, and it was really quite demoralizing because mm. we pretty much got majority no's. Okay. Yeah. And um, some were very honest to mm. tell us that yeah. um, the DNA of me, my co-founder, yeah. was um, too risky a bet for them because, oh. I mean, end of the day, your investor, your bosses are mm. your shareholders. Yes. Yeah. Right, so they are just yeah. fund managers also as much as yeah. what it is. Mm. Um, so they have never backed a born bred in Asia, studied in Asia, oh. worked in Asia, have never worked in a Google or Fang mm. before. Like my trajectory is really like, you guys think it's awesome that I started a company before mm. this, in, but it's only in Singapore. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I have very little like international experience Okay. because I haven't even worked for like the Amazons oh. in Asia. Why, so, why, why the decision to, to hit the overseas yeah. one first? Yeah. I think because I wanted, because I find that investors, because um, I'm a B2B company, yeah, yeah, and you'd be, a lot of the blockbuster names mm-hmm. in crypto mm-hmm. um, that I, w- I would want as my customer mm-hmm. are invested by the XYZ funds that are international. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I think portfolio helping portfolio companies is true, usually true. quite a trend. Okay. Yeah. So I wanted that. La. I saw them I actually understand. as a sales channel. So yeah. yeah for me. They were thinking That's ahead true. already, mm. not That's just true. in terms of uh, yeah, not just the money. Funds, yeah. yeah. And also, of course, the perspective maybe is a bit mm. different, and you know, I can grow along with them. I have a soft landing when I go overseas. Yeah. That's yeah true. So that was very tough. Mm. Yeah, very, very tough. I mean, it's a good thing that they are brutally honest. Yeah, so it was great. How did it hit you? Actually? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I this, so this year, I ended up making quite a number of trips overseas. Mm. Yeah, just to prepare myself over mm. time. Mm. Like, who who knows me? I won't be here anymore. And most of them time. are based where? They're definitely based in either your usual cities, actually, like San mm. Francisco, mm. New York, um, mm. London, yeah. Okay, so you're like everywhere this year. Yeah. Just, yeah. As, just as borders has opened up, right? Yeah. Actually, yeah. my question was asking, how did you hit your insecurities? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was tough because um, I always knew that in my career path, it mm. was very local. It was hyper-local. Mm. Yeah, so I already... Okay. 
knew that. So when they told me that, it wasn't like a shock. Okay. But it was just a bit like, like a bit mm. of a sayang feeling, like sad. Okay. Yeah. Like, oh my okay. gosh, like my fears were well, validated. Yeah, that, like, I wish okay. my fears were just like, like again, paranoia, paranoia right? Yeah. Just yeah. In my own mind. <laughs> it's real. It's not real. <laughs> yeah, but the fact that they said that it's, it became real, real, then I'm like, oh, mm. okay, this is really how right. society sees me. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm. So what, how do you yeah? What do you do? What how do you overcome this portion? Um, yeah. just, come back local. Yeah, get just money kept going. From, yeah. <laughs> come back local. Yeah. get money from the local people. <laughs> your home ground. That was also what happened in the end. Okay. Uh, thankfully there were some international ones la, But mm, I would say okay. that is because I knew the Asia partners as well. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. They, they kind of endorse you or something. Correct. Yeah. yeah okay. Correct. So no, talking about founders, like you, you know, like in the scene. Yeah. I mean, our observations like mm. it's it's a normally a male dominated uh, environment, uh-uh. and now that. That we have you as yeah, a female co-founders, yeah. like a- any perspective on this? Like, mm. What do you experience? Yeah. I always tell um my so my male friends also sometimes ask me, or oh, when I first joined <laughs> X first, right? Besides me, our finance manager was a female. And it was that's all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all. Everyone's male. Uh and uh every week we have like management meeting, right? So at the mm. table. Uh, so it's me and her. Mm. Uh and but she's been there for very long already. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm like the new person. Yeah. Uh and they said stuff that you would definitely do this lah. Okay, like, I just, <laughs> like, just, like, what the, right? And then they said it, and then suddenly they said, oh, so sorry. Then I was like, huh, why must you, why must you say sorry? sorry. Ah. I was like, do you know that I also say that? <laughs> it's okay. Uh, validation ah. Yeah. Ah, hey, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm lucky that, um, growing up, I think I'm quite gender blind. Honestly. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm quite gender blind. Like yeah. the fact that I met my co founder discussing about white papers over beers is mm. until late hours. Eh. True. Like 10 to maybe 2 a.m. Yeah. that kind. Okay. okay. Uh, I, I don't really think about anything, but mm. that also means that my life and my, my, my inner Social circle, circle, they oh, allow yeah. for that. Okay. 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 Yeah, correct. So, so it wasn't a thing for you lah. It guess, wasn't it was really not a thing. Day. But of course there are moments where it's really very obvious. Like mm. guys go to like so, I don't know why I have some friends that go for sauna gatherings. Yeah, what's, is what's, it a thing amongst your like <laughs> sauna, 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 sauna gathering. Gathering. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, so yeah, then you can't obviously join I cannot it, right? yeah, obviously yeah, I cannot go, go in, right? right? <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, uh, okay. Yeah, so uh, don't need to invite me also. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Not sure that not a thing for me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just came back from Japan. Onsen I know like <laughs> Sona isn't I, it? Like, I don't know. Okay, but onsen is overseas, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Then different also. Also just locally, okay. just like I don't know, yeah, yes. I think so, yeah. What, local, you have, meet, you have meetings inside for local, hours? Yeah, and they have like deep reflections one. And then after we, we, we gather back, right, I mean, they will just like report la, their takeaways. Or but they will like, have like, <laughs> take, wow, <laughs> so yeah. maybe some, some okay, I have one group of friends <laughs> that do that. So obviously that gender part comes in for that. Okay. Um, But in, in your <laughs> line of work that, itself, no. actually, in, yeah. when you're dealing with... Or day to day. Yeah. yeah. Does, yeah. It, um, does it come up or no? Mm, I think this is where... Mm, I need to see how to phrase this properly. Ah, yeah. sure, sure, Because sure. yeah. I guess I might offend even my own gender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, need to be, okay, there's an element of being mindful of how you behave. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the truth is, if you, small things, if you just keep mm. playing with your hair, right, in front of a guy, or you keep flipping your hair oh, you behind might, oh, your neck, okay. like small things like this, that sometimes, as um as a small girl, people like to play their head like it's kind they of don't thing. think about it. Right? They don't think about yeah. it. They don't okay. think about it in a in a way that you can be actually sending wrong signals to the person, okay. and they bring it to their adulthood. These are very uh, small things that okay. actually, as a girl, we need to think about also. And oh. I I I have thought about that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but because I've thought about that, I no longer, of course, do that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Raymond yeah. has two daughters, so <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. definitely yeah, need right. to know, need to know, yeah. need to know. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, these are things that are really new to us. Yeah, yeah. We come I, across, we won't think about it. I think about it. Like, we won't think about it. But, yeah. but it's good insight. It's good insight. I mean, like, mm. I, I don't know. More body language than anything. Yeah. yeah. I think it's body language. Yeah. Because I feel that, like, for our audience, some of them who are young, mm. actually, they, they might be, <clears> like, in a phase whereby they are working, but they might be thinking, oh, should I start a company? What should oh, okay. I, I, I guess they will be looking up to you and all that. Like, any any yeah. thoughts on this for them? Because you went through that cycle of like founders, yeah. work, founder in this case. Yeah. Yeah. So before I started my development agency or what actually what led to that yeah. um, was because I started a venue listing website. Oh. Yeah, it's still live today. Mm. It's called wearespaces.com. Yeah, you can go and visit. Yeah, <laughs> I'll check it out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's been now acquired by another company called okay. Fly Spaces. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, and I started that because during my uni years, mm. I started being, so I'm a economics grad. 
Okay. Uh, but in my year three, year four, um, I started being interested in like really like product engineering. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, but yours. Oh, that's like very different. <laughs> yeah, it's very different. Yeah. <laughs> very different. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, and by then it was really I actually tried to change my degree and stuff to um something that's more towards computing lah. But okay. it was too late already because it was year three, year four. Yeah, yeah, like too late already. Yeah, it's quite through, quite yeah. late to change. Okay. Um, so my way of learning more and mm. doing about the scene um was about just seeing how I can contribute lah, which ended up mm. becoming um almost like a community person for them. So organizing oh, a lot of workshops okay. or stuff like that, like the logistics part yep. of it. Mm. Yeah, and then that's where I started a simple like WordPress site mm. listing good venues for this type of events, workshop, meetup, okay. casual coffee, morning stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and that kind of took off in that small circle of tech event okay. planners. Yeah. And then when I saw it take off, um, I think for me, my thought process of why I decided to do that full time, right, after graduation as my job um, was because of two reasons. Like, one is just pure curiosity. Um, mm-hmm. Because I was always just passively reading tech startup news, you know, um, maybe sometimes helping some brands or startups organize this kind of stuff, right? Mm. It's always very on the peripheral. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think that their thought of, hey, do I really have what it takes or not to build something? So I wanted to try Yeah, so, yeah correct. Okay. So I wanted to try that. So that was one element. Mm. Then the second part, the people say, it's, oh, it's very risky, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. Definitely, I think what kicked in was, mm, I'm young. I have mm. no, like, I... I no liabilities. Yeah, no liabilities. But my salary was a joke for one and a half years. Like, $700. <laughs> <laughs> 700 okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, um, now I can say, because, like, yeah. you know, it, it went off. It's over. Uh, really. Previously, then, I wouldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was only it's 700 <laughs> Then, then, yeah, I don't think as an adult you can ever survive with that salary. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's impossible. Yeah. So there was that. Mm. Uh, and I knew that, okay, even if I do this well for one, two, maybe even three years, I'm at yeah. this age only, mm. I am actually still young enough to start from scratch. Uh, yeah, okay. at a corporate job. Okay. Yeah, mm. yeah. So that's that was there was those two reasons. Well, there's a lot of maturity for a fresh. Yeah, yeah for, for what I learned, like, I I think she's pretty forward looking already Just in this case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is step by step for you might not be what is, oh, but it's good advice okay. for our audience as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Really I mean, not not sure about seven hundred dollars. Yeah, you don't have to kill it. Yeah, you have to you have to self uh di- 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> some discretionary uh uh yeah, yeah, part yeah. of it. But but, but I guess that that just shows that there's the the entrepreneurial spirit that founders. Yeah, that's true. Right, you just do it and you know yeah. that you have to going through that period. Yeah. That's true. And that probably sets you up for what you're doing right now, right? I think maybe yeah. one important thing, right? I think some... I got offended la, last time when people told me... I mean, I was attached then to someone who's like paid a lot. La. Oh, um, okay. They thought that it was because of his income that supplements my lifestyle. I was very offended by that. <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> um, I didn't some, know that. Yeah, wow. some, yeah. Okay. Some people thought that, oh, you know, very rich families and stuff. That's mm, why I can uh, do 700, right? Because... Okay. Maybe my bank account is like loaded, yeah. right? Who cares about seven hundred dollars yeah. incoming? Uh, that's also not true. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. but the reason why is because um, think about the worst case scenario. Mm. Yeah, I think during college I've seen um the worst lah like, financially in my family and stuff. But okay. um, during college actually because of that I was very excited to give like a lot of tuition. <laughs> yeah, and I a bit gamed it in the mm. sense that usually most tuition uh uni kids they mm. will go through a broker. Yeah. You know, yeah. will take 50% of yes. their income first yeah. month yeah. and yeah. I was like okay screw that yeah. I will so not do, do, do that yeah. so I did group tuition yeah. I pasted <laughs> A4 posters every day uh, cause yeah. they, of course you'll take it down yeah. 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 Right? so, so you, you place it I place it there yeah. at like few JCs uh, near uh, my home of course because I'm lazy okay. commute yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so I want kids that are near my home <laughs> yeah. and I did gr- only group tuition nice. five at a time oh. yeah five awesome. at a time the Yeah. so that's where it was very interesting because Necessity led me to be a bit more creative, and, mm. and right? I really yeah. end up more money, and I mm. really enjoyed the process. Okay. And to me, in my mind, that was what worst case scenario was, like. Just do that. Again. Yeah, just do that. Meaning again. that being yeah, very, very poor, poor led me to, to be uh, this, this, like this, that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, wow. and I enjoyed it. So to me, that was worst case scenario. Wow. Yeah, and I actually enjoyed the worst case scenario. Mm. Yeah, so I always tell people that no, you want to quit your jobs and stuff like please, mm. please like remember, um, especially at this age, right, yeah. which is damn scary. Yeah. Mm. Um, like you must really think of worst case scenario. Can mm. you be okay not with mm. the worst case scenario? If you cannot, please then don't think twice. Yeah. yeah, don't like it's okay to not be a founder. It's totally okay. 
Sounds like your 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 pitch to your founders before coming on board. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you are sure you okay? Not? Not? <laughs> Actually, yes. although we only got three year one way, Are you okay or not? <laughs> <laughs> now different. Now different. Now you're okay. Yeah, make some adjustments, right? Yeah. In this but case, no, I, I think the business development that 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 commercial part yeah. is is nice. Nice from, from yeah. day one, right? Yeah. Even as a student, like you say, most of us last time we. Every college kid teach tuition, right? right? right. Yeah, we all take the easy way out. We go through the agency. <laughs> yes, and all. yes, yeah. yeah so, mm. wow, goodness. Man. Yeah, so actually, like, because, I mean, uh, previously I, I, I met Sharon through through some strengths mm. uh, engagement, and she's this talent team that I always like to talk about. She knows about it. Like, like, but because that also drives her, I'm not sure, like, how much connection. Actually, it's about significance. Mm. Ah. Yeah, yeah. So, so mm. like, uh, I mean, for the audience, like, mm. uh, uh, significant just means, like, uh, people who actually want to do high impact work. Okay. They, they are motivated to create legacies, impact, etc. And also, they, they want their work to be recognized. Yep. In a sense. Yep. So, like, how, how have you been embracing significance from the transition of, like, working for others and now mm. for, for yourself in this mm. case? Yeah. yeah. To add even more context to why Raymond, I think, probably chose this, right? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Um, I really enjoyed that, that whole uh, test. Because it also mm. helped me understand myself better mm. um, and hence manage people better and okay. stuff. Yeah. Um, but he also asked me which is one of the traits that you're struggling with okay. still. And yeah. I said significance. Oh, yeah, It's actually okay. quite hard for me to embrace that trait of me but I know it's there also. You, so you, yeah. you were aware of it just I'm that aware, you couldn't but, embrace yeah, it. Yeah, and okay. the reason why is because I um, noticed that I'm the kind that get very excited about oh, you created some... So this is what I mean by the product mind comes in mm. Mm. Where um, I okay, like, okay. Um, oh, you told me you have this problem. Oh, Raymond mm. also told me you have this problem. Wow, mm. this problem is quite big. big uh, yeah, let me want problems. to solve yeah. it. <laughs> and I want to solve it fast so that yeah. it is me and my me, team yeah. building it. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, yeah. And not everyone is like that. Yes. Yeah. And or, yeah. or even if you do it, you do it quietly and then you're happy. Mm. You keep publish and you're happy. Mm. For me, oh, this, like, one must start. this is mine. <laughs> yeah. I will go back to you. I will go <laughs> back to you. Like, you did it. Like, can you test like, it? Like, not good. Tell me again. I want to do it. Last time she told me, now it's like embracing it. I'm like that, man. Yeah, yeah, So that's good, that's good. <laughs> I think now what happens is I know it's still there. Yeah. Uh yeah, I've no choice but to embrace it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um yeah. but I still catch myself like to not Okay. Um there are times where actually I under communicate externally. Still, oh. yeah. Okay. Because I, I, I find it too frequent. My 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 natural tendency will have broadcasted it even more than what you'll see publicly, which I sometimes find it a bit too much. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So but, you self-regulate it like, in a sense. Yeah, but it may okay. not be a good thing because okay. I yeah. might be thinking I'm over-communicating mm. but it may not be true. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's, now, where, that's where you must check back with your founders already, or yeah. people that you know that they have a good sensing of, mm. of you. Yeah. So one of it, mostly because also I do find it quite tiring to now yeah, keep posting. Yeah, okay. uh, I have engaged. La, so one of my team members is now handling that. Ah, uh, so mm, he helps okay. me regulate that. Yeah. Leverage, okay. leverage. Mm. Well, I, I'm happy because like I, I just want to trigger this topic conversation but she went deep straight away <laughs> telling me all about this thing. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I, I see it's really good progress mm. in terms of this. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. But have you shared this with your team about how you're wired and all? Uh, Not yet, but soon. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I think soon. Okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. That's good. Awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, on strengths is one thing. I mm. We also want to talk a little bit about mm. leadership. You know, you're a founder, you yep. leader the company, okay. etc. Mm. So, yeah. like, I mean, we'll share a little bit about the perspective of this yeah. six leadership. Yeah. Mm. yeah. We, 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 we love to share this with, with founders, with okay. leaders. So, uh, to make it easier to understand. So, we always uh, use this simple structure. So, uh, Goldman, there's this six styles of leadership <laughs> from, from Goldman. Uh, so, the different six styles will be... Okay, I'll just go through a few of them. Okay. So, uh, six emotional styles. One of it will be a very commonly used for founders will be a visionary mm. style, mm. whereby you just come out. You know, you are the charismatic. You just say, "This is the way we're gonna go." Everyone is like, "Wow, okay, let's do this." Okay. That's the visionary style. Yeah. Uh, we have the more on the ground, pay setting kind of leadership style, which is do as I do. Okay. We need to solve this. Everyone, mm. all night, let's do this. Mm. Do this together. I'll yeah. do it with you. Yeah. So that's one kind of leadership as well. Uh, we also have another style which is more affiliative. So you build relationship with your, abang, your abang. guys, I uh, see. your friends. Okay. So let's do this together. So because of that, they feel for you, okay, they will do it together mm. with you. Mm. Then we have the more coaching style, which is you, you, you help to grow people, you coach them. Mm. So as you coach them, they are they allow themselves to be coached and to be led by you. Mm. Yeah, so mm. that's the coaching style. We have the more democratic style. Okay. If you work with a group of very, very talented people, all very smart, and you want to tap on their thoughts, 
So how do we come to a certain consensus? Because you know that that consensus would be a pretty good solution to the, mm. the challenges that you have. Crash course. <laughs> yeah. So uh, how many have I covered? I think I've covered all of them already. Yeah. Six. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 So so just a quick one on this. Mm. In your short stint as the co-founder yeah. so far, yeah. because you're still mm. a brand new founder, what, 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 which one is the one, the style that you default the most to? Mm. Which one or two or three? We usually have more than yeah, one, def- I'm definitely. Catching, yeah, it's hard yeah. to yeah. pick one. So, so yeah. especially at this point <clears throat> of time and more relating to your personality, mm. which, which is the style that you're applying more. Mm. Yeah. I think pace setting comes up the most, ah, I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Mm. Even right after this, it's actually mm. our team uh, gathering. I mean, it's only a year-end gathering, ah. but there's actually a slide on cadence <laughs> setting. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, so it's quite clear <laughs> la, that, yeah. that, that uh, I think I'm about that. Okay, mm, so you're yeah. the kind that will be in the grind, do uh. this, and then you expect your team to come through together with you. Yeah. And, and do they respond well to you in that sense? I think for now, because my team is still new, so yes. Mm, okay. Yeah, uh. because everyone's excited. Okay. Yeah, so it's also a, a bit mm. of a timing factor. Okay. Right. Yeah, so I, I think I missed out <clears throat> one just now. There's mm. the commanding style as well. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, so okay. the commanding style would be... I say you just do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so it's interesting that you brought to uh brought out the the pace setting. Yeah, style. I think pace setting the most first. Okay. Yeah, I'm almost my most dominant style. Okay, um, you're a doer la, basically. <laughs> as I go, yeah. yeah. But for the supplementary, actually, democratic and coaching comes up second, but mm, depending okay. on the seniority of the person. Mm. Say more senior. Yeah. What do you do? It was very senior case. So mm. I always in you know, my even with my mm. co-founder, how yeah. I recruited him la. Yeah. And then our subsequent like COO and then hopefully now um another fourth what we call like management people. Okay. Uh we always like to say that for the senior ones, right? I'm hiring mm. you because you can front run me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to be the one telling you what to do. I okay. want you to think yourself and realize it yourself and then tell me. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Mm. So your senior highest I like that kind. Which mm. means actually I really always tap on them because I really also think they're better than me la, yep. in that arena. Okay. Mm. But then for the middle to junior, definitely mm. coaching style kicks in. Okay. Mm. Yeah. They they will look forward to having actually the first first layer of yeah. employees in the company, right? Yeah. The best benefit is you get direct yeah. no kidding, uh, link like, to the <laughs> like, founder, right? I know some of my friends hate this about me because uh, I always self-impose, right? Uh, yeah. But I literally bought uh, this uh, oh, for one wow. of my junior guys. Oh, uh, just, uh, yeah, so, so you do this help, often? Yeah, you? I do that quite often. Yeah, wow. that's, that's very apparent of a coaching and style. You're, you're side of you, right? <laughs> wow, now I know. Yeah, yeah, now I know. But it depends on the seniority. I see. Okay. Yeah. I see. Okay. Mm. And it makes sense. Uh, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, I mean, in, in these six styles, right? Uh, of course, all six styles are relevant. Mm. And definitely, you need to apply that at a different point of time. Yeah. So, for your most dominant one, pay yes. setting. Yeah. So, I think it's very, very mm. applicable to your current situation. Yeah. Mm. New startup, have you have to get your hands dirty, do things with your guys. Yeah. Uh, just have to take note that pay setting cannot be sustained over a too long period of time. Mm. Mm. Either you burn out or they burn out or everybody yeah. just burn out. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. similarly okay. for commanding. Mm. So, typically, we use it during more of time of crisis. Yeah, com- which definitely for startup, yeah. I'm sure... There's plenty yeah, of crises that yeah. you face. So, but no time to get consensus or build mm. relationship on that. We mm. need to do this. We need to solve this. We just go. Yeah. Mm. Other than that, coaching, visionary, affiliative, mm. I think democratic. These are all styles that you can continue to use on a day-to-day basis. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And, and it's great to hear from a leader actually applying this mm. on your on your new startup right now. Yeah. In fact, she's, she's like, in my opinion, nailing it. Because like in general, we want to apply styles mm. in different situations. Yeah, mm. and then the fact that you can very systematically know that this situation or yeah. this person I'll mm. do it I think that's correct and we want to build a broader range to be able to execute in yeah. this case mm. I think before we round up I just want to like have some advice for our audience mm-hmm. here uh-huh. you know because you, you uh-huh. represent I you're still kind of young you know yeah. founder and work before etc so for mm. the, our two audience the, the, the new age workforce the young people the so called like Gen Z you want to th- think different mm. and also for the leaders and, and Tech fellow space, founders, founders, founders etc. Founders, Any yeah. advice, words of wisdom, tips for them in this case? Let's start okay. with the young, young yeah. people. First. Young ones. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm, I think for the young ones, it's um, who you hang out with and how you spend your time quite important. Uh. Oh. Yeah. oh, wow. Yeah. Because oh. if you, you mean? yeah, I mean, if you want to have fun and you're intentional about, oh, okay, I just want to have fun and I just want to mm. blow like, I don't know, 10k on a marquee table. Uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> wow. fine. But if you're intentional about it, but if you're just like living the moment and just mm. like month by month, you just keep doing that, right? It's mm. quite sad. 
Yeah, because those uh, youth wow, really doesn't come again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow. So, but, 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 but you're very intentional about like, I just want to have like, I just really want to have fun, okay. right? Then, okay, la, by all means, because you're really living your life to the max. Okay. Like, okay. just no, nothing wrong. Yeah. yeah, but just don't, don't just float Don't just go with the waves. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm saying for young people. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. So don't when you, waste your youth, la, basically. Yeah, right? that yeah. basically don't waste your youth. La. You want okay. to work hard, you want to play hard, make mm. sure you do it intentionally. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And not because your friends are just like pushing you forward and you just blindly go along with it. Ah, yeah, okay. don't be sad. That's the but, most sad. Yeah. You spend the money and you're not really enjoying That's it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you might be enjoying, but you are like not controlling your own ah, life, yeah. that kind of feeling. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, wow. Yeah. It's good. This is good. No, this is good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's not a work perspective, but it's just what I feel in general. Oh, but yeah, yeah, it's good. That's good. So, yeah. yeah. Mm. So same. Yeah, you wanna be an employee? Uh, go ahead. You know, make the best out of it. You wanna be a founder? Um, make the best out of it. Mm. Uh, but just don't do it. Okay. Okay. The second point is, uh, middle of each group, whether you're young, I mm. think when you're a founder, there's always an element of ego because you're confident uh, about your abilities. Okay. You're mm. curious also. Um, you know, you read. It's high risk, so you actually say, no, I can overcome the risk. All the more right? you're attracted to yeah. do it, right? Yeah. Um, but um, going back to what I said, like really think about the worst case scenario. Mm. Yeah, Don't let the ego part um, cloud your emotional, okay. step, your point of safety that yeah. you feel. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I've seen how friends just hang on to their companies, right? But wow, oh. emotionally, they really cannot take it. Like it's, okay. it's one of those whereby, you know, as a founder, it is actually still supposed to be a fun adventure. Mm. Yeah, there'll be struggles, lah. Of course, mm. but it should still be a fun adventure. It shouldn't be until such a struggle until like this. Mm. Yeah, and moments like this, the only reason why I can think of is some sort of ego at play or still a narrative to, that mm, yeah, okay. it's an identity thing that they hold on to, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So these are the challenges that the founder face behind mm. the scene. So yeah, you you're saying earlier, you yeah. have to appear confident, mm. yet you need to be vulnerable. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> and I guess this is probably a a very 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 good advice for our founders to have that bouncing board of people that they can actually connect yeah. to so that yeah. they're not lost in their own space yeah, yeah. 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 Wow, really very deep I see a very <laughs> different side of you on this really? podcast <laughs> <laughs> which is good which is good like I understand you about a lot better mm, in this case okay. that's really nice really well, nice alongside yeah. everyone who listens to this <laughs> <laughs> okay. yes okay <clears throat> so now actually we have come to the end of our podcast yep. I hope you really enjoy what Shannon has said thank you so much for all sure the insights and yep. all, all the tips and all that like yeah. yeah of course if you like the content you like what she shared please like subscribe share this with people mm-hmm. that you actually uh, want them to know alright yep. so they can actually learn something out of this mm-hmm. if not I think we want to say goodbye if you come to the end of this episode my name is Raymond and I'm Edmund and this is Sharon yeah thank Signing you everyone off. bye goodbye